Hey everyone, in this video we will be customizing our Xamarin Forms Google Maps pin and here you can see I have a circle around the Xamarin Forms Google Map and a pin which does not have info bar but whenever I tap that pin then I get which ID was tapped. So here we will be creating such type of map pins as well as map modification in our project. So why not to start with a fresh Xamarin Forms blank project and quickly set up a new Xamarin Forms app. Here we'll be installing Xamarin Forms Google Maps plugin. So uh, we'll be selecting the standard project and at first we are going to update our Xamarin Forms whole project. So here you can see I'm just uh, installing the latest as well as the greatest of Xamarin Forms that is up to date. After we update all the packages inside our Xamarin Forms, then we are now set to install the plugin. So here we'll be installing the Xamarin Forms Google Map dot version 2 project inside our Xamarin Forms project. So please understand oh, we are going to install the V2 uh, version of the Xamarin Forms Google Maps inside our Xamarin Forms project. So let's wait for some time till it adds all the packages to our respected project that is our Android and iOS. Now let's go to the github repo of Xamarin Forms Google Maps. I'll give that link in my video's description below. You can take it out from there. So here xamarin.forms.googlemap uh, initialization to be done inside our Xamarin Forms iOS project. So here I'll just uh, paste that line of code over here and then uh, let the package get installed. Now it's time to get Xamarin Forms Google Map pins. So let's head towards uh, Google Developer Console. Here we will be selecting the first option that is Google Developer Console. Let's go inside. It will take some time to load and here you can see at first whenever uh, you try to log inside a Google uh, pl Cloud Platform then you will be navigated to this section where you need to create a new project. Here inside Google Cloud Platform I will be creating a new project for our Xamarin Forms app. So here you can see we have already set up a new project. Please make sure that you have selected the correct project that was just recently created. So here, uh, this is my project which was recently created inside my Google Cloud Platform. Now it's time to uh, install the APIs inside this project so that we can use the SDK keys. So here we'll go to the library section of Google Cloud Platform and then search for SDKs for our Xamarin Forms Google Maps. So here we'll just uh, see that map SDK for iOS to be installed and same goes for Android too. Just go back and then install the uh, SDK for the Android. Here scrolling below we'll get our Android SDK to, to be installed. Now we are ready to uh, extract out the API keys by going to going back inside the credential section uh, we'll just select the api keys and then it will automatically generate the api key for us let's copy that then let's save that uh, api key inside this section where we have added that line of code so we are going to paste that uh, api key code over here now it's time to configure our android project and i'm just going to paste this line of code and here inside uh, this comma save instant state is the code that i need to write for our xamarin forms google maps then it's time to configure a little bit more inside our android manifest.xaml so we'll just go inside the source code editor here you can see i have added this uh, metadata tag along with the api key that we just now extracted from google cloud console now we have successfully configured our android and ios project now it's time to uh, create the pins inside our xamarin forms google map project so here we'll head back towards the github link where we'll be finding the xamarin forms sample project for google maps where we'll be searching for the pin so here we'll find the uh, pin page where we'll add that a uh, pin code from uh, line number 125 to 127 just copy and paste over here inside our xamarin post main page dot xaml so i'll just paste it and inherit from here you can see we have two options we'll just select that uh, google maps option 
if you run this project as it is then you will see uh, just a google maps in your android as well as ios project but here our target is to create one pin and then uh, use this line of code so that we can show that pin inside our javan informs google maps here i'll just copy this line of code and then paste it inside uh, here that is uh, whenever this map page is loaded then i'll just call those pins directly so here as soon as i create the and generate and i'll just paste that uh, code and inherit it from Javan forms Google Maps. So let us create one variable name as pin Tokyo. Then I'll just remove that line of code. We don't want that. And then our pin is ready. And then to get replied to our uh, iOS Xamarin forms project, so I'll select iOS project as my starting project. Here you can see I got some version differentiation error and this is just uh, uh, as a normal bug that encounters whenever we uh, try to run our Xamarin Forms Google Map for the first time inside a blank Xamarin Forms project. So this is a normal one where we'll go to the application and change the deployment target uh, to the maximum that you have right now. I can see 15.2 if it, even if it is like greater for you just uh, put that greater value as a deployment target. All right, so you can see we just saw a pin inside our Xamarin Forms Google Map inside our iOS project. So now it's time to customize our uh, pins inside our Xamarin Forms uh, Google Map project. So here uh, we can just uh, do any type of modification. It's time to create some circle pins inside our Xamarin Forms uh, map pins. So here in order to do that here I'll just create a one a variable name as image string which takes uh, the image from out of the one any of the URL that you want. So uh, if you want to dynamically bind then you can just create one uh, API call over here and then get a list of images too. So it depends upon your need as well as expectation if you want to bind a list of image. But before that here I'll just install ff image loading dot form because uh, this plugin is uh, really cool in in terms of image loading rendering and uh, the transformation can be applied with this plugins too so uh, i recommend this plugin for our xamarin forms as a essential part in order to render any type of image so i'm really a fan of this plugin so i'll just install this uh, plugin at first so that we get our plugin installed to all our android as well as ios projects so i'll give those link in my videos description below where you can find everything related to this plugin so here you can see i'm just going to use all the platform specific uh, integration now for our android as well as uh, uh, android as well as ios project i'll be copying this line of code where you can see uh, we can download the image out of the ff image loading plugin and this image service comes from the ff image loading where we will download the image out of the url so here we'll just uh, take the load the url and then uh, we'll down sample the size on the basis of height and width so here you can see we have added a circle transformation which transform that image to a circle whenever uh, we load the image out of the URL. So I'll be updating this code in my video description below You can just get it from there. So here uh, we'll just transform that uh, Image that comes out from the URL to its image circle and then associate that uh, uh, image with the icon uh, Attribute on our map pin. So here you can see I'm just taking out uh, uh, that stream out of that uh, uh, URL and then associating it with the pin now that's all now we can run the app and then we can see the uh, map pin that are circle so let's run the app all right so here you can see we saw our circle pin placed on our map now let's try to run our android project and see whether it uh, uh, works or not so here you can see I've selected the Android simulator running on my Mac machine. So here the Android emulator loads up and we should see the Google Maps along with the circle pin to be placed on that map. All right, so here you can see uh, we got a very small little map uh, pin uh, to be placed on the map and then the image is small. So we'll just demodify the value on the basis of Android height and width. So we can just uh, tell it to 140 and 140. We can demodify it on the basis of platform that we are using. If you are using some Android and then or if you are using iOS too. 
here I have skipped some of the steps so that I could save some time so I'm just copying the size that is a dynamic size to be loaded whenever uh, the platform is iOS or Android and then uh, we can change the border color too so I highly request you to go through the uh, modification by yourself and test the image size to be placed here I have placed Android size as 120 and uh, relatively for Android as more than 200 so let's see whether that image size gets uh, reflected or not on our maps great we saw our map in inside our uh, maps now it's time to again get back to the app and then test on iOS 2 this is the resulting output for the iOS so we got our appropriate height and width of the pin now it's time to add one circle so this line of code is going to build a circle around that map pin so we'll just take that same latitude and longitude so you can take your uh, user latitude and longitude and place it over here so that we get that circle pin then we are going to replace the latitude and longitude with the uh, latitude and longitude of the pin and it should be same now we can just run the app and then see if we get that uh, circle or not so I'll just uh, uh, use the Android uh, runtime size so here you can see uh, let's run the app and then we we are good to go with the circle pin around the center of the map pin so here you can see we got the uh, map pin attached with the circle whenever this map pin is clicked then we are going to remove the uh, information window bar so how we should remove then let's create one click event handler for the map whenever it's clicked so here i'll just click on it create a new event handler map in and then go below and then uh, here this line of code that is e dot handler equals to true is going to remove the uh, information bar from the map pin whenever it is clicked so that's all now we can run the app back again here you can see whenever I toss this uh, pin then uh, no information bar comes up now it's time to create uh, what ID is selected whenever the pin is uh, tapped as well as clicked so here you can see I'm just going to see uh, what is there inside the pin so I'll be tracking up the uh, label so let's make that a, a label named as ID equals to 1 so whenever that pin is clicked then we'll just create uh, one alert which shows that uh, which ID uh, that pin belongs to so let's run the app and then see whether we can get the event handler uh, getting attached with the pin or not so here if I click on them then uh, you can see I got that ID which uh, lets me know that uh, which pin was selected that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials